Pour the whiskey. What type of nut is that? These nuts, no. You, it you get smells like a Ferrero Rocher. Welcome back, Craft Whiskey Boys. We're here with another two minute review where we're going to drink this little bad boy and we're going to score it out of 10 and let you know what we think at the end of this video. But before that, if there are any whiskeys you reckon we should have review next, make sure you comment below. So this is Town Branch. This is a bourbon out of Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, bluegrass region. So this one, I believe, is more heavy on the corn because normally, obviously, bourbon's 51% mash bill for yeah. corn. This is 72%, I believe. Uh, so it's going to be more sweeter. Made up a bit of rye as well. Uh, the guys that own this is Alltec, which is, uh, they also own Pierce Lines Distillery in Dublin. I've never tasted, looking forward to tasting it. Yeah. Uh, Town Branch, I believe, comes from the river that flows through underneath Lexington. Mm -hmm. And this sits on that river. It's a, it's a heavy limestone style river in that bluegrass region. So what happens is, is that limestone filters out iron and adds calcium, which makes the water sweeter, which is why Kentucky bourbons tend to taste the way they do. Should we dig in? I reckon we've done enough talking. Pour the whiskey. Why do I have to pour it all oh, the time? Yeah. <laughs> ah, see, that's why I don't like screw tops, because you don't get that. Ready, guys? Two minutes, no cuts, no edits. Go. Begin. All right. Two minutes to review Town Branch bourbon. Mmm, very sweet. Oh, it's so nice and yeah. nice. What's that like? What is that? That's a nut. What type of nut is that? It's a nut. It's like these nuts, nuts. Mm. <laughs> or is it like marzipan, marzipan nuts? nuts. <laughs> is it marzipan nuts? Yeah. Is there a nut made out of marzipan? You macadamia. It's not. It's like huh? you know, like a maple tree. Charlie. You know this. You, it you get smells like a Ferrero Rocher. You don't need to shout this, bro. This is the best whiskey I've ever smelt. <laughs> no, it's a phenomenal smell. There is praline there. You're right. I'm also getting, if you can imagine like sugar sap coming from like a maple tree, you know, that kind of sweet, sugary. Very sweet. It's lovely. That's I've nice. misted my glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, I'm bullish on that. Very smooth. There's a little bit of that spice coming through. Mm, there is a bit of spice in the back palate, mm. but it's still that toasted. It's kind of like you get sugar in the pan and you kind of, you know when you're caramelizing, if you're going to make caramel, if you've ever done it. That's a very up. long finish as well. It's yeah, still good. It's super long, eh? I've gone back to the nose. I'm getting that burnt oak coming through. Mm, heaps. It loads, very heavy on it, but it's actually nice. <laughs> yeah, because it's not overpowering. Not at all. I'd love to know how long they kept this in barrel. Mm. It's delicious. It's not an eight year, no, no. Is that caramel as well? And a bit of apple? So smooth. That's very easy drinking. Just that, the way the, way the, the oiliness comes across the palate and down into that long finish. Uh, you didn't give me enough. I'm sorry, you can have some more. I will. I think we're going to finish this bottle. Yeah, I'm this really, is nice. I'm liking. 20 seconds, I'm ready to give it my review now. That's surprised me, that has. Yeah. Does anyone else get an apple on that? Yeah, you do when it's when it's lower in the glass. You're getting, yeah, it's like Granny Smith apple, isn't it? An interesting thing to remember as well, we are using different glasses, well I am at least. Yeah. That's true. Okay, we're finished. Delicious. We only got it, that was good. That was good. For me, that was unexpected. You know, I wasn't really looking to, off, anticipating what, what happened really. On the nose, it was very, very kind of like burnt oak. That was quite heavy, but it wasn't off-putting at all. Very, very smooth oily. No, I really enjoyed that. I'm going to be bold. I'm going to go for a 7.6 on it. Nice score. Nice score. That's a good score. I'm a little bit more bullish on that. The nose, like he said, was, was it's like that toasted, sugary, sappy type. It does, it's just, it's just like, does the oak in there? I'm on this and I'm at an 8.1. Yeah, I really liked it a lot. Actually, the finish was my favorite part. It was very, very long. And actually, I still have a bit of vanilla Same. as I'm breathing, yeah. which is great. And that was something that wasn't apparent right at the start of the finish. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, no, really nice. I'm going to give that a 7.9. We're going for a second, so yep. that's yeah, how no, good absolutely. and tasty this bourbon is. I'm going to shortlist this for an old fashioned. I'm definitely going to make it an old fashioned out of this. Yeah, I don't even know. It's just a good sip and whiskey, but I agree with you. I think it'd be nice to try it in old fashioned. It'd be quite nice. Highest yeah. score we've ever given thus far. Pick it up, buy it. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Give us some comments. If you've tried it, let us know what you thought of it. If you haven't tried it, go out and try it and give us your score on it. And if you want us to try any other types of whiskeys, as Mo said at the beginning, put them down below and we'll do it. Cheers.